strawberry pancake sprinkle surprise. Okay, we're gonna need blueberries, you're gonna need some diced strawberries, hmm, and remember to cut them in nice little slices, and then your pancake batter. You can use any homemade pancake recipe or your favorite pancake mix. Okay, you're gonna scoop it with the spoon, each pancake into the skillet, like we have there. Then we're gonna add our blueberries and our strawberries. Now you add your fruit when you see it bubbling at the top. You'll see little holes popping up there at the top. And I'll show you how it looks. Look at that, see the little holes? Little tiny ones, very tiny. And then once you see that, add your fruit. Once you do that, it's brown on that side. You're gonna flip the pancake over to the fruit side to brown that side in the cooking. So now you're gonna blend the fruit into the pancake. As it's frying there, it is blending. And it's gonna be so delicious, so flavorable. You're gonna taste every burst of fruit in your pancake. All right, once you do that and it browns, we're gonna flip it again. Now the reason we're flipping it, we're just gonna take a look, you know, look at it and see how beautifully brown it is. See that? Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, and notice how the fruit just blended into the pancake. Then once we do that, we're gonna flip it one more time. And the reason why we're gonna flip it, not to cook a long time on the other side because you don't wanna burn your pancake, but we're gonna add our butter. I usually put about a tablespoon of butter on each pancake. Mm -mm. That adds an extra flavor, and then I put it right in my plate once, that, once I put the butter on. After that, you're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then get ready to do your second batch. Mm. All right, see how I'm doing with the spoon? Look at that. So nice, so beautiful. They're not purpose or perfect circles, but they're a nice pancake shape, right? Awesomely good. Look how delicious that looks. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Now, you'll notice that some of the batter kind of ran into some of the other batter. Just take your spatula, just kind of cut it a little bit, just to space your pancakes. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would put more fruit in my second batch, but sometimes I like to have fruit in my first batch and make plain for the second. So that's what you see here. But if you're like them fruitalicious, like you love total fruit, 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 you can do both of your batches with fruit, okay? Now, once we do this, we're gonna put our second batch on the plate and we're gonna get ready to make our strawberry pancake sprinkle surprise. Okay, so get ready guys. We're gonna get ready to do that right now. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Notice that there, delicious, delicious. Now, get a bowl, you're gonna put your strawberry pancake in there and get some whipped cream. See, squirt it all around. Add your diced uh, strawberries and then you're gonna put a big huge strawberry at the side. I just love it because it looks so pretty, okay? Then you're gonna get some sprinkles. I love the stars, sprinkles. It reminds me of the sky and the stars. Look at that. Mm -hmm. But you can add any sprinkles that you like. I Oh, don't forget to add your maple syrup and then your sauces. That's just to put that, oh man, that's just put that total flavor in there. And then I just hurry up and I get my fork and I get to eating and eating and eating and eating. It is so delicious. And then I get the big strawberry, take a couple bites out of that, and then I eat it again. It is so good and so awesome. Don't forget to get the orange juice. I always have orange juice with this, with my pancakes, so whatever your favorite drink is, whatever you'd like, it is so delicious. Oh, and don't forget guys, visit our website to get the recipe at www.brandmanner.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe with us down below. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So guys, look forward to chatting with you next time for our next recipe.